hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey i'm shake and i do vlogs lifestyle and beauty videos and as of late some educational videos like this one so if you guys are interested in those kind of content please subscribe hit the notification bell and comment down below some other video ideas you'd like to see me do all right guys, so today's video is gonna be me making my register that I showed you guys in my school vlog. So yes, somebody requested it. So as I said, whatever video you want me to do, comment down below and I will definitely do it. So yes guys, without further ado, let us get into the video. welcome or welcome back to the channel so right now i'm going to be using bandy cam or whatever it's called to do my screen recording on my laptop and i'm using my phone as my audio so yes guys let us begin so we are going to start off by going into chrome and we are going to go into google sheets and yeah then after going into google sheets so i don't want to use this one i'm gonna be using this one right here so go into your google sheets and then you are gonna go on to blank then when you press on blank you are gonna go you are gonna be having your spreadsheet and right now you are going to you're going to resize your columns because you know you have students with names that are kind of longer than that so yeah so we're gonna start off with that and we can probably merge this one and you know format so we merge them by going into format and merge cells merge horizontally and we do a general thing called names and we can center that and then we can have so last and then because you know normally for government things we have last name first and then we have the first name and then over here we are gonna be you know lessening or we're gonna lessen the size of these columns um so yeah let us do that all right so i'm just gonna do two for now well, let's just do three all right so we're going to do three for now so these three boxes here i want them to turn into also a merged thing so merge cells horizontally and then so for example it is october so i can have october i'm also going to center this and then say for example it's october 7th and then the next one would have been october 8th then october 9th so yeah you're doing your register so basically that is how we do the register now somebody asked how do i insert my chat boxes now we go to insert you're gonna go down to chat box I tried doing this on the tablet and I did not find a chat box but everything else can be done so yeah all right and then this little box blue thing here we drag it across and then we drag it down to as many as you want I'm just gonna have about two or three names so for example I have somebody called JJ Brown and then Kyla something let's say grant and then yell i don't know eula yell i don't know who that is but okay anyways all right so here you have three names and you can actually you know um block these so they kind of look different from what you were doing so you kind of know all right the name start there and all right so for example on the seventh JJ is present, Keila is not, so we leave that blank, and then Eula is also present. 
now they have a thing where if you're supposed to be sending in numbers like my school does every day then um let me see if i can remember this it's equal count if so it's count if and then mine would have been c i guess three so c3 and we have the colon c and then it will go down to six no five i think c5 and then comma and we have true all right so there should not be so much space here i think and then you press that and it comes up as a amount so you could do this for all of them i think i'm not sure if you drag it if it will be the same oh yeah that can be done all right so this is teaching me something so this i can delete so for example if only kilo was present on that day and you know everybody was present on that day it actually changes so you'd actually have nothing to worry about in counting up the numbers at the end of the day if you put that in from the first day now for example you are doing this for like a marks register so you need something to put in your marks in here i'm going to be doing the same thing but i'm going to carry this down and i'm going to merge these two cells vertically and then i'm going to put in test one and over here you see text rotation i do mine rotate up but you can do yours any rotation you would like if you want to add in like for example like the grid like how much it's marked out of you could actually add in another section and you put in over like for example you're marking it out of so for example you're marking it out of 20 all right so i don't want that to rotate so i'm gonna leave that there and jj got 7 out of 20 and then keila got 19 out of 20 and eula got probably 5 out of 20 but if you're doing it um by percentage you could have out of 100 or you don't have even have to have it just know that you put yours in percentage so that would be fine and yeah you can even color this to say all right this is the end of a month or this is the test grade so you know all right a lot of people always do theirs in red so let me do that in red see all right so you know that the red part is gonna be the one in the red part is the grades but the red is kind of dark so let's do that instead so yeah that is how i created my marks book and my form register so mine is separate and down here you realize you can actually rename so i could rename it and call this october so i know the entire month of october is there i could add in another month and call that november and continue so you basically have your register organized and all so yeah all right guys thank you so so much for watching this video again if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i make a video give this video a big thumbs up comment down below something anything share with your friends your family everybody this video i know might help a lot of teachers so if you have a teacher friend family member or whoever share with them and allow them to do, you know learn so yes guys thank you again so so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye